The SAT can be a pretty annoying test, and it's partly because some of their questions are so wordy. Um, so one thing I like to do so that I don't lose focus is just skip right to the actual question part, read that, then kind of loop back and make sure I haven't missed anything. But then at least when I'm reading the text, I'm focused and I know what I'm looking for. So in this case, the actual question doesn't really start until here. Uh, if one of these people who is, I'm going to say R negative, because I don't know how to pronounce that, uh, R negative is chosen at random, the probability that the person has blood type B is 1 over 9. What's the value of X? Okay, so all of this text here is just kind of explaining the table, and it doesn't really affect the math that you have to do. So up here, we are interested in this row. People have the negative R factor. And it says that blood type B, so this one, the probability of having blood type B is 1 out of 9. So we can just set up a simple proportion. 1 out of 9 equals 2 out of something. And this must be 18, because 2 out of 18 is 1 out of 9. Now if you look at this, 7 plus 2 plus 1 is 10. And if the whole thing has to add up to 18, then x must be 8. Another thing I'll do whenever I see this huge like mound of text is just immediately sneak a peek at the answers. And right away you can see that this is a system of equations. So now I am going to read through the whole thing, but at least I know that I'm going to have to set up a system. So we've got two types of policies, 50,000, 100,000. The goal is to sell at least 57, but they set a little trap for us. He does not meet his goal. So already we know it's going to be like something is less than 57. But then it says the total he sold was over 3 million. And so um, now this is just saying, you know, which system represents that situation. So um, x plus y has to be less than 57. That works for this one, doesn't work for that one, works for this one, doesn't work for that one. And then 50,000x plus 100,000y has to be greater than 3 million. This is less than, this is greater than, so it's C. Here's another example of this. The actual question is here. Which of the following is closest to the predicted increase in total fat in grams for every increase in one gram in total protein? So basically, it's a slope question after all this text. So this whole part here really doesn't affect what you need to do at all. Um, so we're just going to go up here and pick two reasonable points on the line of best fit. I'll pick this one, which is right around 10, 20, and I'll pick this one, which is right around 30, 50. Um, it's going up about 30 from 20 to 50, and it's going over about 20 from 10 to 30. So, you know, slope is just rise over run. So 30 over 20, that's 1.5. If you like these videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and if you want to practice the most common math question types on the SAT, try out mathchops.com. It'll pick the best questions for you to practice based on your previous answers.